I'm the founder and executive director of Project Bookmark Canada. And what we do is we place text from stories and poems in the exact physical locations where literary scenes are set. And we're building a network of sites and stories so that Canadian residents and visitors can read their way right across our country. It just made immediate sense for us to be involved and to want to support the project, particularly since it's the work of uh, Wei Sun Choi, who's been a great favorite at our festival for many, many years and uh, was uh, first put in the festival by our founder, Alma Lee. Uh, the fact that it took two years is kind of okay because uh, this we're on the eve of our 25th anniversary festival. I wrote a passage about the American Steam dry cleaning uh, place, which is at the corner, just across the street, but it happened in this, this four block corner that Chinatown existed for me. And in that dry cleaning, I was a child, and I was allowed to play in the uh, dry cleaning uh, establishment. The machines were dangerous, I'm sure, but somehow the gentleman just let me crawl around and press buttons and push this and that and try and watch the steam come out past my face. <laughs> he knew what he was doing and I caught on that it was fun. More fun to throw material at the steam and watch it blow up into the air. <laughs> and so I transferred that to my writing of fiction. And the children of the Jade Peony play in that dry cleaning uh, establishment all to honor the people of Chinatown who cared and raised this child who was me. It is a community to raise a child, and I think I took more than one community, because there was one called Strathcona, there was one called, oh, you will read the book, but there was Chinatown, of all things, the character that emerged the strongest of all. And so, I'll read you this passage, and this is what is read, written now in this uh, bookmark. Sister Lang and I used to like sniffing the smell of the dry cleaning chemicals mixed with the bolts of cloth and bags of material lying everywhere around Jisook's dry cleaning shop. And we had fun watching the long blasts of steam shoot into the air as we threw handkerchief-sized rags at the machine and they rose like kites against the large picture window. Sometimes, Sister Lang and I just sat mesmerized, looking at the fire lit in a ring beneath the water heater, the water heater tank in the corner of the room. Jisook could make the flames dance up and down and hiss at will. But now I was 12 years old, too tall and grown up to be patted on the head by Jisook. At his cheerful greeting, I shook his hand and stood patiently still while he expertly checked the inside of the coat now lined with the navy-dyed cotton twill, Popo insisted, was Bessie for long-lasting war, for long-lasting wear. Good job, the tailor said, and quickly threw the coat over my shoulders and brushed over it, dusting away loose threads. At last, Jisook raised the second-hand garment onto the massive steam-pressing machine that he worked with a wide foot pedal. He began raising and lowering a metal panel, pulling it down with one hand as he wiped the fog from his wire rim glasses with the other hand. Luxurious blasts of steam penetrated every fiber of the coat. The machinery hissed and sang. The flames danced blue and red in a ring beneath the water heater. The wool material stiffened like new in the mix of chemicals and steam. The brass buttons began to gleam in the sunlight, pouring from the store window. Jisook pulled the last panel through the steam and then swung the heavy, now quite stiff top coat majestically off the machine. Everyone stood back in the narrow workspace of American steam cleaners. Jisook slowly draped the coat over me. Chung looks like young generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek, Mrs. Lim said, clapping her hands. We should take a picture. This is a man's coat, Jisook grandly announced. All you women stand back. I felt intense heat embrace my shoulders, then curve over my back and drop upon my chest. I felt like a young warrior receiving the gift of his bright armor, a steely gray coat born from fire 
and from STEAM. Thank you. Can you come and take a picture with you? Yeah.